Today we're going to go over how to read picture graphs that you'll have a chance to practice. In this graph, four friends, John, Sarah, Gabe, and Alex, went out to collect candy. The number of pieces of candy they collected are shown on the graph. Our first question is how many total pieces of candy did they collect? Well, to find the total, we'll have to add up every person's candy. We can count that John got one, two, three. Three. Then we'll add in Sarah's. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next, we add in Gabe, who got one. And finally, we could add in Alex, who got one, two, three, four. Now we can add this all up. What is three plus six plus one plus four equal? If you add it all up, you'll get 14. We might be asked a different question. We might be asked, how many more candies did Sarah collect than Alex? In this question, we're comparing the amount that two people got, Sarah and Alex. Well, let's start by looking at Sarah. She got one, two, three, four, five, six. And if we're comparing, we can subtract Alex's one, two, three, four. When we solve this, we found that Sarah collects two more candies than Alex. Now let's look at one of these graphs together. This graph shows the hair color of different students in a class. Our first question is, how many students do not have black hair? Well, to solve this, we'll need to count up the number of students in all of the hair colors except for black. Let's start with brown. How many students have brown hair? Well, you can count one, two, three, four, five. Next, how many students have blonde hair? Well, you can add in one, two, three, four. Finally, how many students have red hair? One, two. When you add this all up, how many students do you get? Five plus four plus two gives you 11 students who do not have black hair. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. In this graph, a school counted the number of pets that students at each grade level had. The results are this graph. We want to know, how many pets do the 3rd and 4th grade have combined? Well, to find the combined amount, you'll have to add up 3rd and 4th grade. 3rd grade has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pets. Then 4th grade has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pets. When you add this up, you get 11 pets. The next question, how many more pets does 3rd grade have than 5th grade? Well, here we're comparing. We'll start by looking at third grade and find they have one, two, three, four, five, six. To compare, we'll subtract the amount fifth grade has, which is one, two pets. When we solve this, we find that third grade has four more pets than fifth grade. Now, here's your last graph for today. In this graph, four friends have sticker collections. The number of stickers they have in their collection is shown on the graph. The first question is, how many stickers are there in total? Well, you have to add all of them up. So you'd count that James has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then you'd add in Anaya with 1, 2. Then you'd add in Leo with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And finally, you'd add in Millen, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. When you add up all four of these numbers, you find that there are 20 stickers in total. Now here's your last question for this video. How many more stickers does Millen have compared with Anaya? Well, we can count Millen has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To compare, we'll subtract, and Anaya has one, two. This means when we solve, we can find Millen has five more stickers than Anaya. So from today, remember, picture graphs are a way of organizing information and data